One. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> There's two. Ow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I probably could have picked a better day to uh, go up in the loft, up and down a ladder to get the Halloween decorations down, but hey. This is the, uh, the life of Joe. Tom, don't sue me. Welcome everyone back to another vlog of Vlogtober day 14. We are nearly halfway through Vlogtober. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it so far. I've loved every second of it. I've really, really enjoyed it. Today is the day after the half marathon and um, I was naive to think that my legs didn't hurt that much after the race, because this morning, they're a lot worse. It's mainly going down things, like down ladders, downstairs things like that, sitting on the toilet. But yeah, great day to be going up and down a ladder to get decorations down. It seems these two cannot be separated. Come on, you go over it. There we go, wait there, please. Do not move. So today's plan is to basically have a bit of a... I just said don't move, what the heck? <laughs> I apologize for the jump scare. I know a lot of you <laughs> watch these vlogs whilst eating dinner. And I'm now just picturing everybody with soup, spaghetti bolognese, leftover roast dinner all over themselves. I apologize, I won't do it again. Oh! Okay, but that was the last one, I promise. Yeah, like I said, today is very much a day of recovery, taking it easy, chilling out. But I do want to get these decorations down and make a start on making the house feel a bit more Halloween-y. Diane actually has, Diane went shopping yesterday and did get a few little bits, like some more autumnally bits, but I think now that we're in the next week, so we're like halfway, th pretty much halfway through October, I feel like we now go from autumnal niceness to getting a little bit more spooky, a little bit more Halloween-y. So uh, it's time to get down the masks, get down the, the animatronics, put them together and set them up to freak Diane out when she comes home later on. Yeah, going up ladders, very, very easy. That's fine. It's coming down this ladder. Oh, that's the hard bit. Ow, ow, ow. Spooky. I think it's my favorite, this little ghost doorstop. Also, make sure to subscribe. If you don't subscribe, then something similar looking to this will haunt you for the rest of your week. Subscribe. Right, rat, off you go. Don't break. Oh, that's broke. I don't know if you can still hear me up here because I'm like right in the depths of my loft. <laughs> so if you can actually still hear me, this microphone's got a great range on it. Creepy witch, does this still, does this thing? Whoa! But this, I think this is actually one of the creepiest ones oh, that I've got, to be honest. Off you go. Don't dent the floor. This thing, I don't know if we need that one, but we'll chuck it down anyway. What the heck? I think that's it for Halloween stuff. We actually haven't got that much. This is probably not a good idea. Well, at least if everything goes tits up, I've got it on camera. Out. I'm doing it. That'll do for now, donkey. This was the decoration I was on about. Look, it's got this little thing here, like a sensor, or you button you press. <laughs> I think it's broke. Oh, great. Um, quick little spider warning. Uh, there's a spider here. It's dead, but if you don't want to see spiders, uh, look away now. I genuinely thought for a split second that this was a Halloween decoration that Diane put out, or like a trick spider or something. It's not, it's an actual, look at the size of it. The size of that thing. That is massive. Unfortunately, it's died. And you know what that means? Have you ever seen the film Pet Cemetery? Because that's the kind of, I feel like that's what I've got going on there. Give it some time, one day they're gonna come back out the ground again and attack me. Okay, I'm calling it now. Come on then, let's have it. Mind over matter. 
One minute, straight in. We're gonna be absolutely fine. One minute, let's go. That'll do. Woo! Oh, it's the return of walking, talking Joseph. I've had such a, I'll be completely honest with you guys, I've had such a lazy day in terms of like movement. I've really not really moved from that chair opposite the fireplace all day. I've had the logs on, burning, and just going through doing emails. Like I said, I've mentioned before, haven't I, last week, that Mondays for me are usually like a day of just setting everything up for the week. Um, a lot of meetings, a lot of emails, and just general like admin -y bits. Like Monday is definitely like my sort of admin setting up things that I want to do type of day. So I always say, don't expect anything decent for a Tuesday's vlog, unfortunately. Um, but in saying that, uh, the ice bath once again has helped and I thought I need to keep moving. I think if I do stay in one spot the entire time, it's not going to do me any favors. So I'll come out on a walk before it gets dark. Um, get a bit of fresh air, because I didn't get enough of it yesterday. Uh, yeah, going for a nice little walk in the countryside. All the leaves are starting to turn orange, which is great. It's really starting to feel like spooky season. Talking to Diane this morning as well, I did say, look, I think today of all days could be the day where hopefully you and Chris have got a clip for me that I can play in to catch in with you guys and see how you're getting on. So if Diane has remembered, hmm, I wonder what Diane and Chris are up to. That was meant to be me doing like the transitional thing. So, editor, if you stitch me up there, you're in trouble. This is for, you know how I have the Dianettes? The Dianettes? And the Buzz Army. Oh yeah. Well, Joe has. Oh, please, let me guess. <laughs> let me guess, the, the Suggites. <laughs> the Suggets. The Suggets, is it the Suggets? The Suggets. Oh, Dianettes and the Suggets together. The Suggets. So this is for the Suggets, this one. Wow. Have you got any... Uh... I mean, does, does this not clash with um, Suggs from Madness? Is there not, like, a lot of confusion between... Oh, yeah! ...between fan clubs? There is... The, the Madness... Yes! I I know about this. This is the first time. So, basically, whenever Chris says any single name, I have no idea what he's talking about. Yeah. But I do know about this. The last yeah. name is Sugg in Madness. No, it's his name, Suggs. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's his name. But, you know, maybe his, his fan club is the Suggettes as well. And, um, you know, so it's clashing. there's a lot of confusion. Probably. It gives Joe a bit more uh, leverage though, doesn't well, it? Well, yeah, I would say that Joe's the one benefit benefiting from this confusion <laughs> the most. So, so this is for Joe's little is, vlog anyway. This is for, oh, look, you've taken after me now. Yeah, it's a little, 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 nice. his little vlog. His little vlog. His little oh. vlog. Because I say to Chris all the time, oh, little. look at his little this, look at your little that. She so, says little before everything. I do. And I say to him, you, you put little before everything, Poor Joe must have no self-confidence when it comes to the bedroom. <laughs> what did you think of Joe when you first met him? Do you know what? Like, he's, he's, he was exactly what I thought he would be. Was he? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. What, is, what do you mean? What do you think he would have been like? Tall, strong, handsome. Ah, uh, all of the above, Chris. Yeah. All of the above. Yeah, gentle-hearted. Yes, exactly that. But, you know, strong when he needs to be so. Yep, exactly. He, he can take control of a situation, or he can be, he can be, he can be led if you so desire. <laughs> he's a. He's he, the perfect man, isn't he? he? He's a strong shell with a gooey in with a with a, with a gooey centre. Go gooey, it, you know what? You've hit the nail on the head. Have there. I? Yeah. That is Joe all over. Oh. Did he smell good? Do you have any, any any recognition of his smell? Do you know what? He smelled delicious. Did he? Yeah, and I was thinking maybe this is why he's got so many fans, but of course they don't get the smell on YouTube. No. So. Oh, they're missing out. Yeah. I feel like this is probably a good time to ask now that we are in the sort of uh, back end of October. I want to know what you believe in terms of ghosts and like spirits and all that kind of stuff. Do you believe in them? or do you think it's a load of old hocus pocus? As I've got older, I feel like I'm less and less, I, I believe in it less and less and less, I think. When I was a kid, I definitely believed ghosts were real. The idea of like things that can be haunted by something, like a spirit, I kind of don't believe, which, which then also leads to the question, all right then Joe, why don't you go and stay in one of the most haunted houses in, 
England or go to, to, to a place that's actually classed as haunted? And the answer to that is I genuinely would. If the opportunity arose to go and stay in a haunted place, I would do it just to sort of see if I just end up spooking myself and scaring myself, which I think is what would probably happen. I've got a very, very um, active imagination, so I can imagine things very, very easily. So I'm the sort of person that would definitely get scared and freak myself out thinking that I see things, when in reality, I think, I think it's just my brain playing tricks on me. If you know anywhere that is, uh, is definitely haunted, or have any haunted stories yourself as to why you believe in ghosts and spirits and stuff, then uh, let me know. The one thing that I do kind of always hold out hope for in all that kind of stuff is that I love the idea that family members that are no longer with us are still kind of out there in some way or still like watching us and stuff like that. That's the one bit that I'd love to believe in and believe is true. As I say that, a robin just flew out just there, right in front of me. See him? There he goes. Now that's a bit odd because we always say, I mean, I, I think loads of families do it, we always say like, whenever we see a robin, it's always our um, granddad as a robin. So whenever, whenever we see robin now, we're always like, ah, there we go, there's granddad. I know a lot of other people do that too with their grandparents that passed away and stuff. But that's one thing that I'd like to believe in and believe is true. But yeah, if you have any stories, like spooky, true stories that have happened to you, that lead you to believe that either ghosts or aliens, I mean, that's a whole other story, but if you've got any good stories, please leave them in the comments below. And I might read out some of the best ones in tomorrow's vlog. Oh, this feels quite spooky. I think after yesterday, if I wasn't a horror movie right now, and something was going to chase me down here, I would just be like, look, do you know what? Enjoy your dinner, because I, I can't run anymore. Not with these legs and these wellies on. I wonder if there's fish in there. And if so, what type? Also, I promise it's the last time I'll go on about it. I was chatting to a guy after after the race. I was talking about like fueling during a race because there were so many people before we took off that were like inhaling these like gels and stuff like that. And I know obviously and that's big in the running, the running world is doing gels and taking on fuel and things like that and hydration and all that kind of thing. When I went round, <laughs> there was water stations that hand out cups of water. And um, I, have, I had no idea how to run and drink cups of water at the same time. So I think, throughout the whole race, I had two sips of water, because most of it just went down me, uh, and one tiny gummy bear on like the 11th mile, because I thought I was gonna throw up. And I was starting to really flag, um, which I think is called hitting the wall. Um, so yeah, it was in a bit of a bad way then, so I thought I'm gonna have a gummy, gummy bear now and see what that does to me. And uh, it helped a little bit, definitely, but I would love to get into it more to get to the point where I know when to take what and what to do at certain miles so then I'm to see if it does actually improve my my time. It was getting explained to me yesterday about how it all worked and I found it really interesting. So I think I'm gonna on my runs around here start experimenting with gels and different things to see if it does give me that extra boost, you know what I mean? See if I can get a an even better time next time round. I feel like our drinks fridge needs a good old restocking because what the selection we do have in here is so rogue. It's a wine cooler, so it has got your wines and stuff in. I don't know what the sell-by date are on these. Oh, that's cold. What the hell is that? Whatever it is, it shut itself. <laughs> oh, it's oh, it is. You unzip it. There's a zip here. There's a zip there. You unzip it. And you can, it keeps your, I guess your champagne colder. So you go up the shelf. We go a bit more classy. Can of Stella. What's that, like a jumbo can? Jesus. I don't know whose that is. I'm not a stellar drinker, so that's not mine. James Clare, if you ever down this way, stop by and this is yours. We've got a few cans of these left. Who remembers these? The collaboration I did um, on a beer quite a while ago. These are now horrendously out of date, I feel like. I keep them cold and keep them here just on like, just on a rare occasion, just to taste it again, because I don't make any of these anymore. These were a very, very limited run. Three cans left of this, and that is it. Once those three cans are gone, they gone. And we still got a load of these left, which is from uh, my birthday, the little aperitivo drinks, which if you ever tried Campari, it's got, it's like a very like distinct 
selective taste. They're gonna be stuck in this fridge for eternity, I just know it. Um, but what I was actually looking for is the only thing that I actually want to drink right now. The only thing that's non-alcoholic in our house is this. Ginger cordial, spicy and warming. I mean, that feels kind of Halloween-y. Oh, God, that is spicy. <laughs> oh, oh my God, it feels like yesterday I was, I built this. How has it been a year already? There was a guy that I, there's a guy that, I, that worked in the hotel that I stayed at. He's an interesting bloke, actually. He was saying that he used to be in um, all, does anyone remember Skins, the TV show? If you don't, you need to go and watch it. It's such an iconic show of its time. Um, but he was basically a, a background, a supporting actor, background actor that works mainly in like party scenes. Um, and he said he was in his like 40s. Was it 40s or early 50s? I can't remember. But he was basically saying, uh, your 30s are gonna go like that. He said, years will feel like months, uh, and then, and that's it. Next thing you know, you're 40. Then after that, you're 50. And then, you know, it's, it's kind of it. Which was um, a lovely conversation to have at six in the morning <laughs> before we're doing a giant run. But do you know what? It's things like this that make me feel like he's right. Like, it does feel like yesterday I was doing this. So my advice to pass on to you lot would be to um, buy yourself a creepy clown, towering animated character. It slows down time. I thought I had a fart coming. What, how disappointing. With this little clip on mic, it's probably so good for farts. I'm really sorry, but if I have a fart coming, this is coming straight off and I'm, I'm letting it rip into this microphone. <laughs> How creepy is this? Sorry, another jump scare. I keep getting you. I keep getting you. I'm gonna have to put a warning at the start of this vlog. Warning, this vlog does contain jump scares. Don't watch if you're eating your tea and it's like slightly liquidy, like soup, gravy, or baked beans. Oh, okay, Kevin. From the king to the ring to the fire to my Right, this is the most important bit. That's the animatronics. I'd love to do a course where they teach you how to build animatronics. I wish they taught us at schools, do you know what I mean? I wish I'd pay attention in DT. They didn't do this kind of stuff in DT, and they should have. Where are we gonna put this? We haven't really got any plug sockets. Oh, we have there, but, oh, there's one there. See, last time, last time we didn't have this bench here, and we didn't have like, we had less, less feng shui, less furniture. I might have to put it somewhere else. I might move it. I've decided, I've decided, I've decided. <laughs> I've decided that Mr. Clown is going in this corner here so he can watch over us whilst having breakfast. Do you know what? He might be too tall. These legs are looking pretty damn tall. I mean, it's not like you haven't seen this <laughs> in another video. This is really recycled content right now. <laughs> Everyone's watching, like, this could be from any... This could, this could be from last year. We wouldn't know, Joe. We would not know the difference. Hey, it's very different. I look older now. I look older and more fragile. And my legs ache more this time around. Now he's got the same girth legs as me. Diane's texted me saying that she's 20 minutes away. So I'm really hoping that we can get this done in time. The first year I got this, I didn't, I tried to put the clothes on after making his entire body and that was the wrong move. You're supposed to get his trousers on now. And it makes it life so much easier. Come on, let's get ready for school. Trousers on, please. Trousers on. No, don't, stop wriggling. Oh, what's going on here then? Why are you so twisted? How the hell has that happened? Uh-huh, Marco Bertoli Venice. If you get that reference, then I will be very, very surprised. Pants are on. Pants. That's American for trues up. The brains. They must be able to connect some cables together, which I think we've already done. No! We've lost his ribs. Scalpel. Oh, he's only gonna drop his rib cage. What have I told you about doing that? Oh, no. Oh no, oh no, I've missed out a key bit. We're gonna have to perform major surgery. This has got to go in. That's a real stinker. Let's do this quick. Head off, ribs out, shoulders, shoulders off, waist on. I don't know how important that actually is. Let's speed run this. Heads on, let's cable it up. Diane's gonna walk up that path any minute now. Arms, arms, arms. I really wanna get it done before she gets here. So it can scare her. Although she's seen it for the last three years, so I don't think it will scare. I think she's kind of used to it by now. 
Yes, you beautiful clown. Let's get that plugged in and say hello to the clown. Damn it. I've got to turn him on. Hey, yeah, steady. Not in that, not in that sense. Oh! I'm okay. That genuinely scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm not even done your spine yet. Please don't do that again. I'm just trying to... Let me just get, get behind you. It's not, it's not turned on. I don't know how that happened. Colin the Clown, welcome back. I don't know how he turned on last time. I don't know how that worked. Oh my God, it is very creepy. Oh, the light's down. It looks so much more sinister and creepy. But annoyingly, these lights sort of obstruct it a little bit. When you walk in, look, you just sort of... It's, uh, I don't know. Let's just see if uh, if it does scare Diane. Oh, I like the pumpkin. Yeah, I've started doing some Halloween decorations today. Where did that come from? Did we buy that? Upstairs, yeah, last year. Oh, whoa. You got the scary man in. Yeah. Was oh. it? Wasn't quite the reaction I was hoping for. <laughs> Do you know why? Because I saw it as I was walking in. Oh, could you see it? I could see it through the oh, thing. Oh, for goodness sake. So I was walking in and this, I could see it through the, oh. through the thing. Oh, I love it though. So you're not even you're not even scared of it? Not scared because I did see it. But and I'm, also you've seen it. Seen... And also you've seen it like every for the last two or three yeah, years. Yeah, I do love it. And also, I've seen lots of little bits. The pumpkin. Yeah. This. The rat. And I saw this down here. What? Little ghost. Oh, uh, little ghost. Yeah, I put a little ghost man. That's cute. I put a little ghosty, little ghosty doorstop. Okay, so that may not have scared her. I've also got two other little surprises for her. Three, actually. Oh, God. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's the second surprise. You are ridiculous, you are. Your um, toilet was broken, by the way. Oh. I don't know. Is the, 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 the flush on it or something? Oh, God, you're so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> you're so stupid. <laughs> jump at all with this. <laughs> no. This is what my boyfriend gets up to. Yeah. What's your working? Working hard <laughs> on a dance? This is what I get up to, doing stuff like this. <laughs> yep. Oh <laughs> 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 what is going on? Nothing. <laughs> 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 There's something in my bed. No. Joe. All right, Mark, Reno, you can come out now. No, don't. They've come here early. Oh. There's Mark under there. Oh, <laughs> a bony body. There's probably no different to sleeping with me, I don't think. Actually, this one's a snorer. I'll take him away. But I'm going to end today's vlog there. Uh, uh, apologies, guys. This vlog has been a bit of a, a bit of a stinker. It's a, it's a Monday vlog. It's the way it always goes. Tomorrow, we are heading off to one of my favourite places to go in the lead up to Halloween. I'm sure you can guess where it is, but thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the vlog, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, uh, and I'll see you again tomorrow with another vlog. But remember, I am not a daily vlogtober, although I kind of am. <laughs>